Hello everybody, welcome back to GraphTech Drawings. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate the mean gap using the manual method where we are going to find the exterior dimension and interior dimensions then add them all together and divide by 2. In the previous video, I had already shown you how to calculate the mean gap using the center to center method. So we are going to start right now. You can also find the link to the video now to calculate the mean gap using the center to center method in the description column of this video. So we are going to start right away. So we are going to have 5650 plus 2 into 3900 plus 1500 plus 10,000 sorry plus the perimeter for the semicircular part we shall have 3.142 times 3100 that is the diameter times 0 0.5 that is a half 0 0.5 if you do that you get this one shot it's going to be equivalent to 20,870.1 sorry 0.1 millimeters then you go ahead and calculate the internal perimeter that is the interior dimensions we shall have 5250 plus 2 into 3500 that is the dimension from here to this point plus 1500 that is the dimension from this point to this point then plus 1050 that is the dimension from here to this point plus the perimeter for the internal for the interior part of the semicircular part that is 3.142 times 2700 times 0.5 Putting this will end up with this one being equal to 19,041.7 millimeters. You can go ahead and add everything all together, that is this one plus this one, to get 39,000.7. Nine hundred and eleven thirty-nine thousand nine hundred and eleven point eight millimeters. Then you can divide it by two. Dividing it by two, it'll end up with this one being equal to nineteen thousand. 955.9 millimeters and that one you confirmed your answer that is basically how you confirm your working you will see that this part here is equivalent to this part thank you for watching please remember to like and subscribe to this channel and share the video